What stage are you currently in your network marketing business? Do you think you have the necessary skills to graduate to the next one? There are several reasons why you may be getting frustrated or stuck. Today, I will share with you the different stages of a network marketing career and what you need to do to graduate to the next one. It is one thing to know where you are, but it is even more important to know where you're going and how you can get there. So, allow me to show you the different stages and what you can do to graduate from one stage to another. So, let's take a look at stage number one, the birth stage. The very first stage you enter when you first get introduced to the network marketing business is what I call the birth stage. At this stage, everything looks new and somewhat overwhelming for you. Imagine when newborns are born into the world, how clueless, innocent and fragile they are. What babies need at the beginning is a lot of attention and they need to feel safe. Does that sound familiar? As a prospect, you most probably have had thousands of questions about the business and maybe felt a bit insecure. So, what you need at most is somebody who is taking care of you, somebody you can trust is clear and strong in their beliefs and whom you can imagine becoming successful with. In short, a parent. Or, how we call it in the network marketing industry, a sponsor. In this stage, you might feel torn between hope and uncertainty. I still recall my first network marketing home meeting listening to a guy speaking about healthy nutrition. I was at the friend's house at this time. I was a sports coach, so I listened to him with a lot of interest and couldn't help but ask a lot of questions. Since I like to test the products, I started as a customer. And after some period of personal research, I graduated to the next stage and signed up as a business partner. And this brings us to stage number two, the toddler stage. Now, in this second stage, the toddler stage, you have already taken the decision to join a network marketing business. Just imagine a toddler discovering the world. Everything is new, interesting and exciting. Think about the big eyes and the smile infants have when crawling towards a shiny object in the distance. Their energy and innocent joy is contagious and drawing in the attention from all the adults around them. At the same time, you are, of course, fully dependent on the help and support of the parents and the people around you. Yes, at this stage, you are not standing yet. Comparing this stage to network marketing is easy because your eagerness and your enthusiasm about your newly found vision and perspective is your biggest asset at this stage. Here you are, like a toddler, still dependent on your upline and your team. You don't know much about the products, your service or how the network marketing business really works. Just like a toddler needs a guardian around, so do you need a mentor in this stage. If not, just like a child may fall off the stairs without supervision while chasing a toy, you can also make mistakes when chasing your goal. But don't worry, you have your upline and experienced people around you who will guide you through your first steps in your business. What do you need to do to reach the next stage? I think the most important thing to do is to acknowledge that network marketing is a real business requiring certain skills and attitudes. The willingness to learn from your sponsor is key to graduate to the next stage. I remember exactly when I made the decision to become a business partner, my whole view on network marketing flipped. I saw an opportunity how a person with my background can achieve extraordinary lifestyle for myself, for my family and the people around me. So I started to study network marketing, which lifted me to the next stage, stage three, the pupil stage. You are no longer just a toddler crawling around and being fully dependent on your parents. Now, like a child at school learns to read, to write and to do some math, you start to gain your first skills and some sort of independence in network marketing. You begin making progress in understanding the business and what is expected of you. Here, you are committed to learn from your upline, books and videos and you ask thousands of questions, which is what you should actually do. It is at this stage that you get an idea about the business and its systems. You are gaining your first experience and develop essential skills from the coaching and teaching of your sponsor. At this stage, your self-confidence starts to grow and you can partly apply what you have learned to the real world scenarios and get your first results. I remember when I was at this stage, my mentors were the authors of the network marketing books I read and the YouTube videos I spent several hours watching. 
I learned the first steps in the business and applied them. I saw the first results and went ahead to start my own home meetings. The guests of my very first home meetings were my family members and my very best friends. Because I wanted to make sure that they knew what I was up to and that they had the chance to join as well. And on top of that, of course, some of them supported my venture by becoming customers. Don't hesitate to directly ask for support from the people who are the closest to you. You will be surprised how willingly they will assist you in your learning phase. Looking back at this stage, it was important that I was humble, open-minded and absorbed every information I could get. Because this gave me more self-confidence and independence which lifted me to the next stage, the teenager stage. In fact, the teenager stage is a very interesting stage. Your business is picking up speed and you also have more experience in handling some tasks. At this stage, you feel very confident in your skills and you feel important to your organization. You are indeed a bridge between your mentors and your own team. Since you have grown your network and have recruited some people, however, you are in danger to fall into a common network marketing trap. Just like a teenager, you play it cool and your self-confidence is over the top. You are convinced that you have made it and this is the time when many shift into a management role. Which means that you stop recruiting your business partner or customers and don't work on expanding your network anymore. You are just managing your team and you want them to do the work. I have seen this happening so many times and the result is always, really always the same. Because since you don't walk the talk, you lose the trust of your team, your organization stops growing or even mine decline. During my network marketing career, I have also observed another danger in this stage. Your ego. Like teenagers, after having had the first tiny success moments, many networkers in this stage think they know it better. They want to feel even more important and want to do things their way, the better way. So instead of being humble and sticking to a system with a track record, they really try to reinvent the wheel. So don't get me wrong here, new ideas are always welcome, but every business in this world has a success code that works no matter what. I think every networker needs to experience this stage, but your future success very much depends on how long and how extensively you indulge in it. So let's take a look at the next stage, the young adult stage. The young adult stage or stage of decision is the groundbreaking stage for your success in your network marketing business. Every young adult enters the real world after college and begins to see that they are responsible for whatever outcome they have or want to see in their lives. That's the same thing that happens in the network marketing industry. This is a crucial period in the growth process of a network marketer. Here, your business may reach the first plateau or even decline because you have been in the management and directing mode for too long. Now you might get to an important juncture in your network marketing business. It's time to take a decision. You can start to blame everyone and everything around you for your challenges you face in your network marketing journey or you decide to step up and become a network marketing professional. Make a clear decision to go for the whole journey, become a master of the industry, master all the necessary skills and first and foremost develop a strong why to become unstoppable in your mindset. Another important aspect in this stage is growing from a manager to a leader. So what does it mean to be a leader? Here I want to touch just two assets of a leader in network marketing. Firstly, you need to live a no problem mentality. So don't tune into limitations of others. Instead, develop a solution oriented attitude. Secondly, you need to lead by example, which means that you must walk the talk, provide guidance and create an environment for success. At this stage, it's not only about building the business, but it's also a time with endless opportunities to grow as a person and to grow as a leader. You may not see instant results here, but you are laying the foundation for your ultimate success in your network marketing business. When my first company stopped operating in Europe and from one day to the next, I didn't have any income at all, I needed to take a decision. It would have been easy to blame the company, the whole industry and the people who introduced me to network marketing. The door was wide open to quit, give up on my dreams and call network marketing a scheme. However, my why was so strong that submitting to failure was not an option. Instead, 
I stepped up, raised my standards and took the decision to become a network marketing professional. I knew from experience that every crisis presents an opportunity. So I took the little experience I had gained and started all over again. And I was even more focused and more committed than ever before. And this brings us to stage number six, the professional stage. Right after the challenges of the young adult stage, you graduate to the professional stage. Here things are different. The transition to this stage represents a significant evolution in your journey as a network marketer. To score high in this stage, you need to thoroughly understand the profession. You are able to use leverage and you can set up systems that will ensure your business keeps growing even without your direct involvement. The number one thing you learn is that not everything has to depend on you. The more your business operates without your direct intervention, the more successful you will be in the long term and the more freedom you will gain. To achieve this effectively, you must develop a system that ensures an environment for success and enables duplication in your organization. I'd like to compare it to professional sports. To enable athletes to perform on the highest level, you need to create a secure surrounding. If athletes have to deal with uncertainty, they are not able to unleash their full potential. And over the years, I have recognized the same patterns in network marketing. If you as a leader are able to implement the system, provide stability and lead with a clear vision, your team will flourish and excel. Becoming a network marketing professional is opening doors to the next step in your career. Let's look at stage number seven, the business owner stage. When you graduate to the business owner stage, you can look back and see all the challenges and setbacks you have already overcome. At this stage, you gain full power and freedom as you already have a system that works for you even without your direct involvement. The perspective has changed. Instead of the business owning you, it's you who owns the business. And I want to repeat this as it is crucial in this stage. You have become the owner of your business. Since you understand all the processes, have full knowledge of your industry and have a track record of success, you also gain influence in your company, your business organization and your private life. People respect you as a leader, request your opinion and appreciate your advice. Often, networkers who have reached the business owner stage become consultants for other distributors or companies. In this stage, you start widening your perspective and former borders dissolve. You start to discover the spiritual meaning in business and life and start to develop an abundance mindset. When I first felt like a business owner, the freedom and certainty I could sense gave me a lot of satisfaction. At the same time, this widened my perspective on business and life. This was the stage when I started to see many new opportunities. I was able to convert the knowledge and experience from network marketing into other business ventures. The shield of protection you create for your team and for people around you lifts you to the next stage, the mentor stage. And here we are at stage number eight, mentor stage. In this stage, you are helping to raise other leaders and providing useful insights to other business owners. The transition to the mentor stage means that you have a track record of your personal success and can significantly impact others through your guidance and influence. You will be invited to different speaking engagements and you may develop an interest in sharing your knowledge through books, creating courses or podcasts. Regardless of the medium you choose, the major work in this phase is impacting others and providing guidance to people who are on their journey to develop a business that allows them to live their lives on their terms or how I like to call it the freedom of choice. For example, I provide mentorship using this channel. Here I share everything I know and provide you with strategies that help me to become a top earner in the industry. The learnings you take away from mentoring others enlarge massively your understanding of the interdependence of giving and receiving. This epiphany strengthens your inner abundance which lifts you to the next stage. Okay, let's dive into stage number 9, the wisdom stage. The wisdom stage is the last and supreme stage and only a few people are able to reach it. Here, you have become a master of network marketing. As a result, the value you added, you have gained respect and recognition beyond your own business and company. In other words, you have become an ambassador of the whole network marketing industry. 
In this stage, you are all about building a lasting business as your legacy. You value philanthropic activities, invest in other ventures and give back to the community. I always tell people to see the network marketing business as the door to wider possibilities. With the constant cash flow, you can not only secure your future and the future of your family, but also it enables you to create something that lasts forever, that is impactful and is giving back. Here, your goal is to be the one. To be the one in your family that makes the difference. Be the one to take the risk and usher your family into generational wealth. And through your inner wealth and abundance, you will have impact on the life of thousands of people. As I mentioned earlier, your goal is to know exactly where you are on the growth ladder, to understand your network marketing journey in a better way. Once you have identified the stage you're currently in, the next thing to do is to know where you're going and what you need to do to get there. From my personal experience, it is not possible to skip one of the nine stages to network marketing mastery. But going from stage to stage will massively shape you as a person. And the fruits you are harvesting on the way are worth every single step. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel to learn more about network marketing mastery. See you next time. Bye bye.